I'm just clearing out the music room <coughs> and was minded of a story by this. Um, it's a car rear view mirror. And every recording studio should have one. So I'll get onto that in a moment. But um, how I got this one. Um, I'd been invited out to dinner by an English couple, retired English couple, living just a, a bit over the valley. Not far away, maybe, I don't know, 20 kilometres, something like that. Um, but off the main road, and sort of like down in... A, here, like on one side here, we've got the um, Apennine, Apennini there, the Apennine Alps, and over there, the Apuani Alps. And in between, there's this sort of like lumpy valley thing going down. And they, they, they were living over in this other side, in a, in a dip, in one of these other bits of the lumpy valley. And so off I went, drove over, and... Uh, had a very nice meal, but I, I, I really got into their wine. They'd got some really excellent... I won't name names. I won't name them. Uh, but I just, I, you know, just like your average um, retired English couple in northern Tuscany. And so I, I was quite pissed by the time we finished the meal. And I think he pulled out some brandy or something. So I was just swigging it back. And I was absolutely legless by the time it came appropriate to go home. And I said to him, you know, I'm, I'm just, I, I think I'm too pissed to drive. And he says, it's all right. And I think he'd had a, a fair bit of the wine and brandy himself. He said, right, you know, like, well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll drive in front of you, lead you. And yeah, okay, try that. And of course, down this little valley and things, he knew that road. It was just sort of like a single lane, narrow track sort of thing. And so I, I was okay, you know, I wasn't too bad really, absolutely legless, but you know, relatively in control. But this guy was bombing it, really foot to the metal. And it, uh, he knew the road, it was like, woof, 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 like this. And on these particular vuvs, he went vuv and I went woof down a ravine. And that one about having your uh, life flashing before you. It wasn't quite like that. I just had tree branches flashing before me like this. Oh shit, 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 shit. Brakes, no, nothing with brakes. Like, it was just too steep. It was just going plummeting. Well, maybe that kind of a slope ravine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And I'd only got a chance to think, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, maybe three times uh, when I hit a tree like this. And I put, I've got a nice little scar there somewhere. Uh, it doesn't show up on this camera. I, I, I did manage to like, split the skin quite nicely there. On the side window, on the driver's side window, boom. <coughs> shattered it uh, and uh, uh, I, I think I might have been unconscious for a minute or two not long uh, I don't think I had much of a head bash but it, I, I was really pissed and uh, so anyway a bit later I hear this voice you okay you okay yeah of course I'm okay so I managed to scramble myself up this hillside and uh, oh, and also he'd got a four by four. I'd uh, on this little lane, like rough track, and I'd got a, a, a Fiat Punto, I think it was at the time. Yeah, and uh, so he drove me to the hospital. It's <laughs> I was as as a drunk does. I was refusing treatment, but his blood was streaming down. You know how head cuts are. That is blood streaming everywhere. And I was like, no, it's all right, I'll go home. I'll, be, I'll just go to bed, I'll be fine. So I sort of spent the night in the hospital, right, just getting it all sewn up. It made quite a good job. And uh, then uh, a few days later, uh, I went back with the taxi driver to have a look 
where the car was. And it was like, you could see the lane going across the top, lane like this, and then, well, more like that. It was a really steep angle down with trees prodding up, uh, prodding up. Trees down the way like this. And somehow, well, it went from like that down at, God knows what angle, uh, like that. It, it was a really tight angle. And then to a plateau at the bottom. And I'd made it all the way within about five feet of this plateau before hitting this particular tree. And the car was there, pretty much all right, bent in half. And it's a bloody miracle I survived it. But the luck. And uh, so anyway, I went back with the taxi driver, walked up to it, and I, oh, fuck. And uh, all I could think of at the time was like just taking a souvenir. I mean, it, it did, have, it did have a really good sound system in it. <laughs> put a really nice set. Well, no, I think Caroline had put a really nice. No, it must have been me. I put a really nice sound system in it. Um, I just left that behind and just took away the, the, like, the back view mirror. <laughs> and, uh, you know, anyway, I kept driving for a few years before they took my license. So I, I drove for another three or four years after that before I had another, well, not an incident. I have sort of like being endangered anybody else's life to, to as far as I'm aware, but they did take my license away for being very, very pissed in the morning when getting cat dog food. When getting dog food, I'd had so much to drink the night before, my breath was just addled with it, so I was way over the. This is the moment, morning after. I'd had nothing that morning, but it was way over, so license gone. And I've not bothered getting it back since. But, um,. So this thing, why every recording studio should have one. When you sat there, on computer typically, maybe on guitar or whatever, but you've got your headphones on. And for me, the one that gets me, the dogs. They come creeping up behind you and you know, they'll just sort of like nudge you a little bit and you're <gasps> like absolute terror. So next to, well I don't have a webcam in there, but you know just next to where you would have a webcam, have a rear view mirror. Every recording studio should have one. So, there you go. Thank you.